Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dumre again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you all of our content. Today, I'm going to continue the Magic Leap videos and actually going to do a short video on how to enable privileges for the Magic Leap. So the reason why we enable privileges with Magic Leap is because there are instances where you need to access specific parts of the operating system that are only available as long as you enable those features. So one of those features that I encountered that I needed to enable was the controller. I needed to provide access to the controller before I could actually use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the new way that Unity provides and also magically provides through the Unity Editor player settings to be able to enable and disable privileges. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you how the privileges are now set up in the new version of Unity, which is Unity 2019.2.0, F1 and above. And also keep in mind that I'm using the latest version of the Magic Leap Lumin SDK. So in the latest version as of today is 0.22.0. .0. So if you're setting up privileges, let's say that you want to address, you want to access the address book or you want to access the control or you want to access certain things that are only available as long as you set up the privilege, which you used to set up through a manifest file before. But now that has changed. I actually tried to deploy this version right here of a particle system that I created in, in my previous video. And because I'm using the controller, I wasn't able to capture the trigger. You can see that in this video, I show you how to basically set up this scene. And if you go to the rocket, you can see that I have a controller connection handler. So the controller wasn't working. I'm, I basically are I'm binding to one of the trigger methods for either the trigger up and the trigger down, but those are not getting executed. So how did that change in the new version? And that's what I want to show you. So before I show you the new way, I want to show you the old way so that you can get familiar to and, and probably remember how you had to set it up before. So in previous versions of Unity and also the Lumin SDK, you used to have to basically go to the Magic Leap folder and then go to the examples and then go to the plugins folder. And in every example that I was creating in every project that I was creating, what I was doing, I was copying the entire Lumin folder which included this XML, and then pasting that XML in the same directory, but in the same directory structure, but part of the asset. So what I was basically doing is copying the Lumin folder, and then moving that folder to basically one to the parent, which is gonna be under assets. So this project shows what I used to have to do. So in this project, I had assets, and then inside of the assets folder, I had a Lumin and then a plugins and then a Lumin folder. And then inside of it, I had my manifest. So because I was doing examples, I was basically enabling privileges on every single thing. So I had rights to get the address book read. I had rights to address book write. I had rights to capture the camera and basically every single thing. And this worked well because I was doing prototyping. But for some of you guys that were doing, you know, real experiences, you probably only had a few enabled. So the new version of Unity and the new version of the SDK now provides a new way. And that's a new way that I want to show you. So if you notice right now, I do have a plugins folder and I have a Lumens folder, but this is a file. I'm not actually using this file. I could actually delete this file if I wanted to. So what I'm doing here is if you go to file, build settings, and we go to player settings and let's close out of the build settings. You can see the magic leap now has an option on their own on their player on their project settings and it's called it's under magic leap and then manif manifest settings. So in this case it's complaining because I have a manifest. So in the case that you want to use the manifest XML, I I couldn't get it to work, but what I would do is I would use the UI instead of using the XML. And this says that it has detected a custom manifest file. This manifest will be used instead of the override. So I'm sure you can still use it, but there's probably a new format because it wasn't actually working for me. So I would suggest that you move to this new way since that's what they're providing. So if I go here and I delete this file, and now we go into file, build settings, and then go back into player settings, and we can call, we can basically close out of build settings. 
go into our manifest settings and you can see that now the manifest settings are available you can change the minimum api level to four five or six i believe i was using five in the manifest so i'm going to set that to five and then because i'm using the controller pose i'm also using gesture config and gesture subscribe those are the only ones that i have enabled but of course if you're using you know if you want to get information about power info or if you want to get information about the wi-fi and then some of these other you know information that you need to basically enable privileges for you know all you have to do is basically just check those if you want to know you know information about the battery if you want to go maybe connect to the internet or you want to get access to local area network so this is what you would need to do before you can actually write an api or make a call to systems that go through those routes so for instance if you wanted to basically do a call a restful web service call you would need to enable the internet because you're going to have to actually make a service call to another service i haven't actually done that yet with magic leap but i believe you have to do that in order for you to to do that and and actually make a web request so just keep in mind that if you need to you know enable privileges so that the user sees those make sure that you enable these and also this is the only way that you're going to get access to those components as long as you're enable enabling those privileges so that's basically everything that i wanted to show you in this video if you guys have any questions or you have issues with you know the manifest xml or the new way that i just show you please let me know through the comments because you know i'm doing this on a daily basis by writing prototypes so I've been, I've been, you know, struggling with, you know, some prototypes where things just don't work. So this is something that I just found out today by writing a prototype and actually trying to get the controller to give me feedback and actually respond to some events. So that's why I decided to make a video about it. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just mentioned, please let me know through the comments. Also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much guys.